Hi, and welcome to Recipe for Fun. I'm Paul, and this is Parker. And today we have a bit of a culinary experiment for you. We're going to attempt to make some fermented Christmas beets. And I found some recipes for similar to this, but made pickled with vinegar, and we're going to do the fermentation method. It, we're not gonna spend a long time talking about fermentation methods for fer fermenting vegetables, but if you would like to see some more explanation about that, I have our first video where we fermented carrot pickles, and you can see that there. So today, we're just going to make some spiced Christmas beets. And so I've got some washed and peeled beets here. I've got some cinnamon and ginger and some bay leaves to preserve some crispness. I've got allspice and cloves. We've also got our big jar that we're gonna put it in. And we've got our salt brine and our airlock lid. So let's start. We're gonna start with cutting up the beets and Parker's gonna help me put the beets in the jar. How's that sound? Good. And he washed his hands and everything. So, oh, and we've also got our measuring spoon here. So here we go. We're gonna cut up the beets. And I'm just gonna dice them. Oh, you're gonna put them in. Oh. Okay, you put them in. I'll cut them up. Oh, see, I just can't help myself. I have to put some of them in. Okay, oh. Okay, here we go. About halfway through here, actually, we're gonna put the bay leaves in and the ginger. So we'll put the bay leaves down at the bottom. and some ginger. So put them up. Oh, we got it. Okay, put those in, and then we're gonna put some of our spice spices in. All right, two cinnamon sticks for you, sir. You're too tall. Oh yeah, I forgot. All right, put your cinnamon sticks in. Okay, and let's put in a couple teaspoons of cloves. And we'll do a couple teaspoons of allspice. You wanna do one? There you go, right in the jar. Okay. All right, we'll set that aside. All right, so we got our bay leaves, we got ginger, cinnamon. Hey, that looks like Shake that in a bit. Okay, I don't think we're gonna use all of our beets in this jar. Look down, my hand's wet. Look down, my hand is red. It is, okay. You're too tall. Oh you're yeah. too tall again. Put them in. I can. <laughs> I can hold all these. All right, I think that'll be it. Got them? Okay. This tastes good. Okay, so now we're gonna put in our salt brine. Parker, you wanna help put, pour in the salt brine? Yeah. Okay, two hands, okay. two hands. All right, oh, okay, there we go. Right in there, right in there.
right up to there. Okay, took it all. Okay, there's our salt brine. Wow, too that's tall. pretty red. It's pretty red, huh? That's the reason I wanted to try some beets because I thought it was such a lovely Christmas color. And so I've never tried this before. I've never made this before. This is, wasn't from a recipe that I found. So this is just kind of an experiment to see how it goes. And our next video will actually be tasting these to see if they turned out well. Uh, are they actually a tr Christmas treat or uh, a blunder? Would you like to put on the lid? So which way? Just screw it on righty tighty. Righty tighty, clockwise, there you go. All right, so we will set these aside for about a week and then we'll come back and revisit them and see how they're doing and give them a taste test. Thanks for joining us on Recipe for Fun for our uh, Christmas spiced beets. If you like our videos, please actually click the like button, subscribe, and really do come and see us again. Thanks. What are we going to do with the rest of the beets?